I had a guy reach out to me on Friday. He was talking through a difficult situation. He's essentially getting let go from Amazon. He's trying to figure out you know, what the next steps are, what the strategy is. And I think it's important for me to talk through this uh, scenario with you because there's probably a couple people out here that are, are in similar situations. And so hopefully this will help you. But this individual is 30 years old or just under 30 years old. Um, went to college, not necessarily a, an engineering degree or anything like that, is at Amazon uh, doing work that's probably yielding only around 30 to maybe $50,000 a year, right? Not necessarily a bad salary, but there's a lot of ways to maximize your earnings. So here he is in this situation where his boss is telling him that he's not good enough. Um, and it's very unfortunate because a lot of these types of leadership decisions where you're, you know, essentially, you know, have somebody trying to you know, cut you from the team, uh, the decision is very subjective, right? The organization that we were in uh, had a ton of reorgs, uh, a lot of consolidations and movements of people from, from one organization to the other, people getting let go like this guy. Um, and this person has probably had five or so managers in the past year, right? So he's really been put through the ringer. And here he is, he's being basically, you know, thrown out on the street uh, because of a subjective decision. So what's crazy about this though, is that even though he's been at Amazon for the past two years, a lot of people like him are not looking at where they can leverage their earning potential, right? So here they are, they have their heads down, they are working really hard in a role, getting paid this type of money and Here's somebody else, for example, who is coming in from an MBA program, fresh out of college, right? They went through another maybe, you know, 11 month MBA after college, or maybe they're, you know, late 20s and they, you know, did a, uh, some kind of master's of engineering or something like that. And they're being placed at a role that's getting them paid 150, 200 plus thousand dollars a year. This happens all the time, right? But the people that are in these roles that are thirty, fifty thousand dollars are not looking where the leverage is, right? The leverage is getting the MBA because the name of the game in corporate America tends to revolve around pedigree and traditional education. Let me give you another example. So I see this all the time where a VP is coming in to talk about something. And I go on LinkedIn, I look up their profile, and what do you know? They went to an Ivy League college, right? Not necessarily that this person is smarter than anyone else, but they have pedigree on their resume, and they shaved off 10 to 15 years of a traditional career path that somebody else would have been slaving away at to get to that same level that maybe only took this person two or three years to get dumped into, right? The reality is that a lot of people that went to Harvard or Stanford or any other Ivy League A plus type tier school is that they get placed much higher. Maybe they start off kind of similar to everybody else, but you see them accelerate um, dramatically. Uh, they get placed in these in these roles and right like I said they're not necessarily smarter than anyone else they just have the pedigree right so the point of this video right and the the thing that you constantly need to be watching out for right is there's tons of reorgs that happen in corporate America if you're gonna play in that type of pond you want to cover your ass and you want to recognize that there's a game and there's a system right? If you play the game right, right? If you educate yourself, not just traditional education, but if you educate yourself with, um, you know, have the mindset of constantly learning um, and educating yourself, as well as looking where you can kind of leverage tra traditional education as well to three or four X your salary, right? That's what you need to be doing, right? Because there are people that are strategic in this world that are doing really well, right? They're having this hockey stick style growth. And there are people that are slaving away in their roles, getting paid very low wages, and having their boss tell them, hey, you're not performing well enough, when the reality is they could have gone to school at a uh, you know, University of Washington or something like that here in Seattle 
gotten another engineering degree for the for the next two years, right? Student loans to kind of you know pay for the living expenses for a while, living modestly, right? And then coming out of that, they're going to get placed in a much higher role. So find places where you can leverage yourself both through traditional education and non-traditional education and play the game guys because that's what some people are doing so that's the video I got for you guys today hopefully this makes you think a little bit about where you can kind of create more value for yourself in a tech company or any organization for that matter. But uh, if you like the video, hit that like button below. Please leave some comments and definitely subscribe if you like the video. We will catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.